What's up drama divas and drama dudes? Welcome back to Christine Does Drama and welcome to my final America's Next Top Model recap. Can you believe it? Tyra Banks decided to end America's Next Top Model on her 22nd cycle, on her 42nd birthday. It was Tyra's birthday yesterday and we finally find out which boy or which girl will win America's Next Top Model. So let's just get straight into it. So Miss Tyra Banks decided to give us a little bit of a cliffhanger. We had to wait two weeks to find that who was going to be the winner of America's Next Top Model. Um, we're at this scene now where it's 40 minutes to the final runway. All the models are standing there waiting to see who is going to be the final two, which boy or girl, and their mothers are there with them. And up first is Lacey and Mame. And Lacey's Sapos Couture um, shoot was just so beautiful. I think it really spoke to her brand. It was sophisticated. It was innocent. Um, the first shoot when she was at the um, hotel and she was checking in I really believed it the second shot when she was sitting in the room and her eyes were kind of up I just didn't really get it I think it was too much of like an acting shot and then the last one when she was in the blazer yellow blazer I was just so in it I was just like oh my god Lacey you are so beautiful and I really thought that she had it at that point and then she did her presentation and I don't know it was a little bit too cutesy a little bit too innocent Mame said that she thought she sounded really robotic and I didn't really agree with that I think she just sounded too too innocent like she needed more time to grow me you know she's only 18 years old and I get that she wants to help people. She wants to, you know, she's spoken very openly about her weight gain and she wants to do the fitness classes and everything sounded great. I just think it was just a little bit too, too cutesy. Like she needed to have more experience in the real world. And then I know that's her brand, but I just feel like she just, it was just not, I just think that she just needs a little bit more experience in the real world and then she'll have more to say. So Mame's Zappos Couture shoot. I loved the first shot when she was in the hotel trying to check in. I love that she had her hand cut Kind of like almost touching the bell you kind of thought oh my god like she doesn't want to touch it because she'd get germs and why am I in this hotel room the last two were kind of to me like a really pretty mannequin I felt there should be a little bit more life in the face and I just was a bit um I don't know like it looked very regal but I just wanted that a little bit more there was a lot more story in the first picture than there was in the last two but she looked absolutely stunning in all of the photos that she took and I was really really proud of her then she had a presentation and this is where it went a little bit um, to the left for me. So basically what happened was that Mame, she was giving her speech to the judges on why she should be America's Next Top Model and she talked about how she wanted to help the youth, how she wanted to be humanitarian, all great, great things. And then she said that I want to give back to the youth because I want to give them the love and attention that I didn't get. And I saw Lacey's mum and Lacey's mum looks right at Mame's mum and then look back at Mame like, oh my gosh, how can she say that in front of her mother? And that was my issue with what Mame said. I don't know Mame personally. I don't know her story personally. So I can't say that Mame hasn't, I can't say to you guys that, oh, Mame, Mame is lying or she's looking for attention. If she really feels that she didn't have that love and attention, then my heart goes out to her my problem is coming from an African background it's very very common for African parents to give their children to that to rich family members or to to send them away to get more experience to get a better life and I feel like Mame took that for granted a little bit and she shouldn't have said that in front of her mum who'd come all the way from Ghana to support her daughter through this competition so she does love her she does have attention it's just Unfortunately, she got sent away, which is something that is very, very common in African culture. And I just don't think she should have said that. She should have worded it that way in front of her mother. So then it was time for Niall versus Mikey. And Niall was up first. And I just loved Niall. Shoot, he looked like a, the GQ man. He looked sexy. He looked like a like he could be working for any of the major brands that's out there. All the major menswear brands. He looked so so sexy, so confident. I loved his Apex Couture shoot. Every shot to me sold me the story. Where Niall fell down was his presentation, in, in my opinion. I thought that it was just like information just coming at me. Information, information. And I was just like, slow down. There wasn't enough visual. It was just bullet points. I swear in last week's episode, or, you know, when they had the last episode of America's Next Top Model, they were all sitting there busily, you know, doing their... Um, 
presentations. Everyone had pieces of paper and they were brainstorming. And then he comes up with this like built like bullet point thing. And I'm thinking to myself, where's the imagination now? Where's the, you know, the visuals? And I just thought that it really let him down. Otherwise, his photos were, were actually, as much as I love Mikey, his photos were better than Mikey. So Mikey was up next and I just, uh, the photos to me didn't really work. They weren't strong. I'm not sure the hair, um, the way it was really worked for him. I don't know if they should have pulled it back um, like he had in previous photo shoots where he, he was just like face and he was just like a businessman and you know, he had his hair pulled back. I think that's what they should have done in this photo shoot because his hair to me made him look a bit feminine and, and I don't know, I just don't think it really worked. It wasn't striking enough. But when Niall failed, Mikey excelled in his presentation. I love that he kissed his mum before he went up to the judges and he explained how he wanted to help his community, how he wanted to build a brand and he was really emotional and his mum was emotional and I just, my heart was just like, oh my gosh, like when he said that, I want to just be a voice for anybody who has a dream, my heart was just like, team Mikey. You guys know that I've been team Mikey for a while now and I really did want him to win but for me, um, his presentation made me just love him even more and I just was really really proud of him in that moment. Then it was time for deliberation, the mothers waited outside and the full models came back inside and then it was Niall versus Mikey who was going to make the top two and I was sure at this point that it was going to be Mikey, I was sure as anything because of his presentation and then Niall ended up getting it and I was really disappointed, I'm not going to lie to you guys, you guys are my drama divas and dudes, we've been on a journey together so I'm not going to lie, I was really like oh my god I was devastated and what made me cry was when um, when Mikey Mikey went outside to see his mother and his mother started crying saying I hope I didn't do anything wrong like what my heart I was just so sad I was like oh my god you didn't do anything wrong mom you, you supported your son you were great in the photo shoot you did not do anything like your son is going to be a top model regardless and I felt so sorry for him then it was Mame versus Lacey and I was sure that Lacey was going to get it not because I thought that Lacey's pictures with Zappé's couture pictures were better than Mame's just because Lacey has a better body of work than Mame I thought that she would get it but unfortunately um it wasn't the case for Lacey and she got sent home and Mame got through and I was happy for Mame because she you could tell she really wanted it I was a little bit disappointed with her at that point because of what she said about her mother and I just felt for Lacey because she did she she had some amazing photos this season one of the best photos one of the best models in the competition and she just she just missed it and Lacey's my favorite for a long long time so I really felt for her but I just know that her and Mikey are gonna do great in the Modeling industry. So then it was time for a runway, and just before the runway, Justin met Mame's mother. I think Mame's mum is just the cutest woman ever. She's so cute. And they showed a clip of Justin who was still quite quite pissed off at Mame for hooking up with Mikey. And at that point, I wasn't really sure if Mikey and Mame actually kissed, but then they showed the clip again and they actually did really kiss. I was like, oh my god, they actually really kissed. So them two, um, Justin and Mame, I really love them in the competition. I really love their chemistry. I really hope that they can work out in the future. I will be keeping my eyes on this couple. I really hope that they get married and have babies and be the first <laughs> America's Next Top Model baby. And you know, I'm keeping my eye on those two because I really do think they look really great together. The designs on the runway were absolutely beautiful. I loved everything. I loved the violins. I loved the runway walk. I mean, <laughs> Devon, of course, had to have the extra sass. I mean, he was doing some craziness on the runway. It was just hilarious. And I loved how Justin walked down the runway and then you had Kelly and you had Tyra like cheering him on. And then Justin winked at them and then <laughs> Tyra and Kelly were kind of play fighting like, no, he winked at me, no, he winked at me. It was so cute. And I loved the fact that um, Mikey and Lacey got it together, even though they must've been so devastated not to get to the final two, they were on the runway. And I was a little bit confused that everyone had these white gloves you saw Tyra's dad in the audience and he was wearing these white gloves and I went on Niall's Twitter and apparently that is how deaf people applaud they have these white gloves and that's how they applaud and I thought that was really great that they included that into the runway so it's the next morning and the mothers and the contestants the final two contestants Mame and Niall they're in the house and they're having a really great breakfast they're having watermelon and having orange juice and then they get a surprise Oppo wants Mame and Niall to both be the Oppo ambassadors and they're going to fly them 
all expenses paid to Southeast Asia and I was so happy for them but at the same time I was thinking damn I wish I could watch them to go to Southeast Asia I wish they could take the cameras but then I had to had to realize again this was their the last cycle so I hope that they do like a YouTube video or a vlog where I can watch them go to Southeast Asia because I really want to see them um go on this trip and I think it was really great because at that point I didn't know who was going to win I had no idea and I just thought that this was really great that they both get to have something because I think Mame and Noel were just amazing finalists and both really deserved it at that point I was just like yeah like it's great that they both have something it was time for the final judging and I thought that Mame looked absolutely stunning now look so handsome so sexy so powerful and the mothers were waiting backstage for their son and daughter to see who would win America's Next Top Model first up was Niall and they judged his runway walk and I kind of felt like I don't know like I felt so sorry for him that he couldn't hear the music and that um, he was walking really fast at first and then you sigh and Tara told him to slow down and I was just really like annoyed at Mame that she was happy that he messed up I get that she wants to win I get that she's uh she's a really like competitive person but it wasn't Niall's fault that he couldn't hear and there was a better way to say it than yes like you know he messed up and whatever so um that that kind of made me feel a bit like mm, against um Niall but then Mame's runway walk was just exceptional she looked so beautiful I love the little twirl that she did when she was running down the when she's walking down the runway she looked elegant she looked beautiful she looked stunning and I really felt that she did a great job so then it was time to review their body of work and I was I was taken back to the first time I saw Niall and how much I just thought he was just so beautiful I loved his story I loved his his charisma I love the fact that he wanted to um make a way for himself he didn't want, want the fact that he was deaf to hold him back and his his photos spoke for himself there were there was literally no photos I didn't like of Niall like Going through the competition, there was definitely some weeks were better than others, but when you look at them all together, it's a great, great body of work, and I was so, so proud of Nile at this point. Then it was time for Mame to look at her body of work, and I think I've been quite hard on Mame because when I think of America's Next Top Model, I think of the whole package. There's a reason why they wanted them to do the presentations. They wanted them to, to really show them why they could be a worldwide ambassador of America's Next Top Model. And there's some things that Mama has said and done that I've kind of questioned, but when I saw her body of work, I realized just what a great model she was. Um, there were some photos I didn't really like, but there was, there was more that I loved. I loved the photo shoot where she had her hair up and then like she was in the kind of sportswear. She looked so beautiful and she looked so beautiful in person so at this point I was like who should win America's Next Top Model because my heart was just like oh my god and the funniest part of Mame's um when they looked at her body of work was of course where Mame had that kind of sexy shoot when her in her first shoot and you saw a little bit of thigh and Mame's mother's face oh my god I laughed so much I laughed so hard Mame's mother is a comedian it was so hilarious so then it was it who was going to be the winner of America's Next Top Model, the last ever cycle? And it was Niall. And I was so happy in that moment. I was so proud of him. When I saw all that he's been through, all that he's overcome, how he's become the first um, ever deaf person to win America's Next Top Model, the first, the last ever guy, I just my heart was just bursting for him I was so proud I was a little bit devastated for Mame but I loved how her mum comforted her backstage and every person in uh, in the top four is going to do well they they are just so talented and I'm so proud of all of them it was such a tough decision to make but I'm so happy that Niall was the last ever winner because it really goes to show what the whole show was really about watching the show since I was a kid to now it just was showing it showed me that you know it doesn't matter what you look like or what other people say about you if you know like everybody has something beautiful about them everyone has a story to tell and if everybody has something to give and everybody is beautiful in their own way and now to me epitomizes that completely and i'm so proud that now was the winner of america's next top model so guys this is it there isn't any more this is my last america's next top model recap there's gonna be no more america's next top model i think it's gonna sink in for me next year when i'm not doing recaps anymore and i'm not watching the show but it's been all right hasn't it we've had 22 amazing cycles and i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to 
every single person who's watched my videos from Mexico to Indonesia to, to America. It's just been like crazy. It's just me here in my bedroom in London and I'm just so proud of each and every one of you for the, your amazing comments, your um, commitment to the show. It's not really about me. It's about America's Next Top Model. And we've loved this experience and I love you guys, each and every one of you. This is it. So guys, till next time. And I will see you soon, Drama Divas and Dudes.